All right, so I've been messing around with this and I've been looking at different combinations. With this particular build, it is a duelist, it's a gladiator. Um, <clears throat> like the first lab is probably gonna be Pain Forge. The second lab is going to be Raining Veteran and the third lab probably uh, Violent Retaliation doesn't really do much for block. So we could probably go Arena Challenger and uh, Outmatched Outlast. Anyway, we do have a block chance of 85%, a spell dodge chance of 62%, of movement speed modifier of, you know, 42%. Now... While I was doing this, I am not at max spell dodge. I am at max block. I'm actually 1% over on max block. But my spell chance isn't, and this is only at level 75. If I wanted to get max spell dodge, I would need to grab this wheel right here. That would bring me up to 73... Which one am I missing out on? I'm missing out on this pathing right here. I'd have to path it like this. I don't know if you guys can see this. This would have to, uh... That would have to be the pathing to give me 75% spell dodge, but I would also be level 91. Which 91... It's, I could, I have like level 93, 94 characters. 91 is easy to get, but I have no damage. The tree is literally nothing but life, 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 um, life, life, and spell suppression and block. That is all this is. Spell suppression, block, well that's block, that's block, that's block. This is spell suppression. This is spell suppression. This is evasion. Evade. Why do I have this wheel? What does this do? Increased evasion. Why did I grab this? We're not going evasion. I don't need that. So I would actually be 87. There we go. And then life, life, four life, four life. 10% chance just to suppress spell damage while on full life. Yeah, that's what that would do. That would give me max, um, max spell dodge. 62%'s not bad. Level 71 at 62% is not bad. But the funny thing about it was this node right here, the versatile combatant. So it will give me negative to the maximum. So here, watch. I get this, and now my block chance is going to stay at 60. I didn't have any spell block chance before, at all. I'm 26% capped over, so that means I have 60% chance to block attack hits, and I have a 52% chance to block a spell and spell dodge, which I think is a fuck ton. I also have a little bit of armor mitigation. Um, the reduction is 55, so it's like 50, 50, and 50. I pretty much have 50% of everything. But if I'm going spell dodge, then there would be no reason for me to get spell block. You know? But this is what I'm messing with, this little gladiator. More than likely, this is going to be my league start. The only thing that I have equipped now is the Lion Eyes Remorse. Um, that's the shield that's going to, uh, it's just, th this is going to be the shield. Lion Eyes Remorse is going to be the shield. And then for, like, even the weapon, the gloves, the amulet, the belt, all that is where I'm going to cap my resistances. This might be a bit too tanky, though. I don't know about all that spell dodge. I mean, not spell dodge, that spell block chance. So, like... Wait, cancel. 
so I'm not going to spec into it so early, only because I, I have the attack block. 85% to a block attacks, and then the whole reason behind spell dodge was so I would have some type of uh, spell mitigation. But I could have so much spell mitigation by specking into it, depending on how the character feels and whatnot. Um, we'll see. I don't have a skill set up. This is level 71. These are the defenses. He's built like a really, 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 really tanky boy. This guy is really tanky. I mean, if I wanted to, it's 2% increased attack damage per 75 armor or rating on shield, which the armor on this particular shield is uh, 1,400, almost 1,500, so about 1,500. But 75, just 2% increased attack damage. I don't even know if that's worth it. I could probably get a better mastery like um intimidate enemies or avoid elemental ailments elemental elements seems pretty dope he's a very very tanky boy very tanky boy um his life pool with no life gear on is already 2k once i start getting life rolls on gear and all that other good stuff he's a very tanky boy who knows? I don't know what I want to do yet. I might even be able to go bleed if that's if that's what I want to do. Like, I can get the Pain Forge and the Reigning Veteran and still have my max block and all that spell dodge and be able to come down to uh, Gratuitous... Gr gratuitous? Gratuitous? Whatever the fuck that word is. Like, gratuity... But with the us at the end, gratuitous, that fucking word, violence, this one, this node. Yeah, English is hard. Anyway. Which is physical damage over time. It's a bleeding, and I could have maim and bleed on hits. And I'm right here next to the bleed nodes. Which if I wanted to, you know, I could just grab bloodletting and then, uh... I don't know, damage over time per endurance charge. And then I could run something like, oh wait, no, I can't because I don't have endurance charge uh, generation anymore. I don't know, 60% increased bleed duration? Maybe? Would that bring me up to? That'd bring me up to 78, and then I would need like accuracy, which, Accuracy is one down right here. I have accuracy one down right here. Um, need to grab this. Bam. Need to grab both of these somehow. Like that. I don't like the way that looks though. That's nasty. I'll figure it out. I can get, I can get strength on gear. Just get a strength roll on gear, whatever much to cap that out i have no intelligence though but yeah eighty five max block and a fuck ton of spell dodge or uh spell block chance spell block uh all that good spell block what happens if i spec out of this though this will give me evasion, but what's my chance to evade? Chance not to be hit. 49 and 49. Chance not to take damage when hit. 60%, 60%, 52%, 52%. 52%. So a fuck ton just not to ever take damage. My effective health pool is 17,000. Like... Evade chance is 0%. I have no chance to evade. 20% less melee evade chance with arrow dancing. But projectile evade chance. Let's spec out of arrow dancing. Now what is it? I mean, I have a... 
Where's my evade chance? Still 0%, so even with or without freaking evade chance. I don't have any evasion gear on. Which, which if I wanted to, I can still have arrow dancing since a majority of all my nodes are dexterity anyways. I could wear evasion gear with max block. Um, all I need is the shield. That's what's going to make this build work. But then I still have to pick on a skill. What skill do I want to use? Is it going to be a strength skill? Is it going to be a dex skill? Am I going to be projectile? Am I going to be melee? Is it going to... I don't even have the intelligence for a fucking spell. We're not even going to go there. Dude, yeah, intelligence is going to be a huge one. Um, do I have the intelligence that I want do I not have the intelligence I want yada yada I don't know but this is what I'm messing with in POB I'm actually just gonna save this let's save this and we'll make this uh, scourge league start and then just save I mean I can do this all over again right now if I wanted to before I ended the video so fuck it let's try it so to start off in this tree, the way that I was looking at it, is just grab the accuracy, start grabbing the dex. I mean, we can wear armor, so why not? It'll give me more dexterity and it, it will ignore all movement penalties from the armor. You know, just pick up this life. Um, This will give me plus three to melee strike range, but the only reason I'm grabbing that is to grab these shield nodes down here. For the uh, defiance run down here grab more life and uh, grab this side of the shield nodes am I forgetting something yes I'm forgetting the life mastery which is plus 50 to maximum life can you believe that shit though plus 50 to maximum life and right here is uh, 1% 1% chance to block attack damage per 5% chance to block on the equipped shield. So starting out, whatever shield I get is the shield I'm going to use until I find something better. And then grab this dexterity. Grab deflection. And then come up here to... Uh, grab command of steel, then this shield mastery. Which is probably like... I don't know, 20% chance to avoid elemental ailments. That seems pretty dope. Where's my block chance at? Yeah, and that's my max block right there. So I that's like, that's just at level what? Level 32. I'm not going to be dealing a lot of damage, no. But just the shield. Soon as I get this shield, I know that these nodes, regardless of whatever I'm wearing or what weapon I'm holding, these nodes right here will give me max block. This is max block. The shields probably I'm not going to get for a couple days. But I know that this setup right here will give me max block. And then from this point, we work on uh, spell suppression. Do I need this? Yes. So fastest way to grab that is right there. Um, Picking up courage. Because now we want to do the whole spell suppression bit. We're going to need to run up here. For all this evasion so let's grab the outline of those e this evasion will we're not gonna need that accuracy or anything yeah but we'll grab it just because um and then we can spec over here while grabbing both of these we'll grab wind dancer um hmm I guess we can grab the rest of that spell suppression, run over here, grab this spell suppression, that's weapon elemental damage, quick step along with that. There's also this node which is weapon artistry, which will give block chance while dual wielding or holding a shield, but we're already at max block so we don't need that node. Uh, grab this health, I guess, run over here grab this uh, acrobatics and then the suppressed damage one 
and a uh, 10% chance to suppress spell damage if your boots, helmet, and gloves have evasion. So the boots, the helmet, and the gloves just need to have evasion. That brings us up to 54% spell dodge. Um, the whole dexterity thing brings us up to 62. Now let's just get an evasion helmet. Just craft a rare... Uh, where's that helmet at? Um, the gloves need evasion, so just create. Uh, they have evasion. Add to build. So that's the gloves. Craft. The helmet, uh, the boots need to have evasion on them, so storm riders, whatever, create, add to build. Um, boots, evasion, and helmet. I need to find a helmet. Here's a helmet, here's evasion, lion's pelt, whatever, add to build, bam. 67% spell dodge with max block at level 65. Oh, wait. Level 65. If I wanted to take this further, um, like I said, I don't have a skill that I want to use yet, but spell dodge chance, max spell dodge is, what, uh, 75? So, um, if I wanted to take you know, versatile combatant. I can just grab that. It will give me 60% block chance with 50% uh, spell block. And then I could come up here to this little one that I had up there. And, you know, 60%. Does that do anything for me? Does not. Yeah. I can grab that to get more spell block chance. Or I can keep, you know, max block spell dodge level 65 and then i need to grab a uh a skill that i want to use for this tanky 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 boy oh bleed we were gonna go bleed that's right and then grab these bleed nodes there we go so i take it back well yeah but it's at this point is when we actually start specking into our damage I could probably start specking damage earlier if I wanted to, depending on what skill I'm going to use. But yeah, spell dodge and block chance. Fucking easy clap, boys. Anyway, if you enjoyed this video, give it a like. Um, this is probably going to be my my league start, maybe. Um, I'm going to go research some skills and stuff, what I want to use with it, how I can make it stronger. Cyclone isn't looking too bad at this point. A bleed Cyclone's probably just fucking out there but i mean why not i don't see why um even if i did do if i did go bleed cyclone um i could probably even spec into crimson dance since i'm gonna be spinning around and attacking every so often so who knows that's probably gonna be the plan though some type of cyclone with no fucking aoe very little block recovery and shit but this shit should work out it should Anyway, let me close this out. If you like the video, give it a like. If you want to see more content like this, um, hit the subscribe button. If you hit the notification button, it will tell you exactly when I drop the new video. Anyway, guys, you all have fun, whatever. See you all in the next video.